Hi there guys and welcome back to another episode of The Beard Necessities here on The Facial Furs and in today's episode I'm going to be talking to you about liquid and foam and answering the question which one is better? Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she sell with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on the block, still see the boy them lurking. So if you're starting your monoxidil journey, you're gonna have to make a decision. Do you pick the liquid or do you pick the foam? Now both are gonna give you results, but you're probably wondering which one is gonna be better. Well, that probably comes down to several different factors, which we'll look at it in this video. First, let's look at effectiveness. So anecdotally, people generally air towards the side that liquid is more effective than foam. And in some cases, they do have some weight behind their argument. Now, minoxidil liquid is absorbed far easier than the foam is. And that's because of its propylene glycol content. Now, propylene glycol actually strips the layers of moisture away from your skin. Uh, and it is said to help minoxidil penetrate deeper into your follicle. The foam, on the other hand, doesn't have propylene glycol. What we need to bear in mind is that there is actually no human comparative study between both products. There's a very good reason for that because companies won't necessarily want to say one is better than the other, otherwise they're going to basically make one of their products useless. Um, now what there have been is comparative studies in animals and what this one study did find was that both of them, when tested, guess which one was better? They're both exactly the same. Neither one of them showed any more FC or more effectiveness than the other. So in terms of their actual effectiveness at hair growth, they're both exactly the same. In terms of absorption and blood flow increase, the liquid was found to be better. So if you're looking to get more absorption, then go with the liquid. But bear in mind, more absorption does not necessarily mean more effectiveness. This is why you don't need to use more than two milliliters a day, uh, because otherwise you're essentially just wasting it in your body. But that brings us on to side effects. Now one of the biggest side effects from using the liquid is dryness and it's because of the propylene glycol yet again. Now that's because as I say it strips away the layers of moisture from the top layers of your skin causing your skin to get very dry. Now that is something that you definitely don't get when you're on the foam. I've got barely any dryness using the foam uh, which is very very nice which is, makes it very hard to switch from the foam to the liquid. Um, now, what I will say is that if you are using the liquid as well, because of that added extra absorption, you are likely to get systemic effects. It will mean that it goes systemic much more easily and into your bloodstream, which means you start getting hair in places you might not necessarily want it. So I was getting it up around here. Uh, and since I switched to using the foam, it's practically stopped, if not fallen out or just not growing anymore. Um, now that was a big plus for me because I didn't like that at all and it was a pain having to pluck and take it out all the time. Um, so you're also less likely to get headaches, heart palpitations and everything like that as you would on the liquid. However, as we were saying before, liquid is arguably slightly more effective, but because of that, because of how well absorbed it is, you are going to get more side effects with it. Next, let's look at skin health. Now, both of them inhibit collagen production in your skin which is not a very very good thing so what you probably want to do then in that case is do something like derma rolling once a week or maybe even get some vitamin c serum i don't use it personally um, but i might consider using it in the very near future uh, what can definitely be said is liquid is far harsher on your skin it causes a lot of dry skin it causes a lot of peeling which is not very appealing sorry about that ease of application now this is just from my own personal perspective, I'm sure everyone has their own opinions on this. I personally find the foam much easier to apply. Uh, I literally just squirt it into the cap and I scoop out the foam, rub it in my skin and, you know, all the way into the hair. It's very easy to get it everywhere you need it. On the liquid, it is slightly more difficult and challenging. It does take a little bit more time, especially if you have a bit more facial hair like I do. Uh, and you're having to actually literally get under the hairs with the dropper to drop it onto your skin and then rub it in with the dropper or however you choose to use it. Um, what can definitely be said is that measuring out the liquid is far easier than measuring out the foam to get the correct one milliliter dosage. To do the foam, you have to do half a cap. It comes out quite quickly. It can be hard to get it directly to that half a cap. The liquid, you've got a line on there. You can get one mil every single time. So, I mean, it, it depends on in really on how you want to how you want to apply it. 
it's really down to personal preference in, in terms of that. What can be said is that the liquid takes much longer to absorb. So it's wet on your skin for about 45 minutes, between half an hour and an hour. Uh, and for me, it was about 45 minutes. So somewhere in between those two numbers, the foam, I would say about five minutes. Once you've rubbed it in, it pretty much soaks in straight away. And if you've got a bit of hair, it's dry within about five minutes. So foam is definitely a lot easier if you're going to apply it and then leave the house because your face isn't going to look all drenched. Cost. Let's look at cost. Okay, so liquid is far cheaper than foam. Uh, and um, when I first started this journey, I bought three months initially and then I bought six months. Now, when I bought my six months of Kirkland liquid, it cost me about £30. And when I checked about the Kirkland foam, it was uh, £30 for three months. So it is literally like double the cost. Um, now, my regain was a gift, but I got three bottles for £55 was how much it cost my girlfriend, roughly. Um, so that's a different brand. So it is slightly more expensive. But the Kirkland foam is about £30 for three months, about £10 a bottle. Uh, and for the, yeah, for the liquid, it's about £5 a bottle for each month that you are using it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about my recommendation uh, and my recommendation to you guys, if you are going to do this um, and you are going to try this out, then I would suggest to you to start with the liquid at the very least. So to start with a liquid and do six months on the liquid first before you switch to the foam. Now, one of the advantages of starting with a liquid is that you save yourself some money in the short term. So if you buy just a three month supply to begin with and see if you're getting any results. And if you don't, and you don't get any results whatsoever and you're thinking the product's not working for me, then you probably wasted about 15 pounds in comparison in English money. I'm not quite sure what that would be in US, probably about 17, 18 dollars. Uh, and it's not gonna be a huge, massive blow to your bank balance. Now, if on the other hand, you went out and bought three bottles of Regain foam, that's 55 pounds. And if it doesn't work, you've obviously spent a lot more money in order to test and experiment that. There's another option you could do. You could do a bit of both. Some people do a bit of both. So some people do uh, foam in the morning, liquid at night, and that is perfectly fine as well. And that is really up to you. If you did like this video, then please do hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, queries, suggestions, or any of your thoughts on liquid versus foam, pop them in the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date with my videos, then please do hit that subscribe button. My name's Adam, at The Facial Fuzz, and I will see you guys again next time. Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on a